mungu kama wewe bwana wa upendo wa upendo kama wewe hakuna ah kama wewe hakuna kama wewe kama wewe oh hakuna mungu kama wewe hakuna ah kama wewe hakuna kama wewe makofi kwa yesu Hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna kama wewe Hakuna Niwe bwana bwana umetukuka Jina la koliko juu ya majina yote Hakuna Hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna kama wewe Hakuna Walitukuza jina la kobo Hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna kama wewe Hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna kama yako Hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna Something funny today is that the daughters and the sons of those who are criticizing us are dancing beyond us now. 
So when we started the church, planted the church in New Bath, the mind of how a pastor should behave based on the way I was brought up in full gospel, uh, it entered me. So any time when people are dancing, I will not dance. Not that I'm not feeling it. I am feeling it, like in Sasa, me ni pastor. Now pastor, our, our dance gear according to that time. Pastor wakati muziki meshika kabisa kwa chachi yetu alikuwa na inukaga hivi alafu anarudi Saizo mechapa go shaya kodene Hata mukichange muimbe tenzi Bana huu sehemu ya Sasa For about three seconds but I will feel it After the service I am feeling like I should go now and lock myself in the room and dance and I'll never forget the voice of God very clearly that came to me. 2004. It was around June. After almost two months. Uh, no, April. After two months, we planted the church in February. That say, the Lord said to me, everything you need, I have. Anointing. Anything. He said, I can, I, I have given all. I will manifest all to you. The only thing I cannot do to you is that I cannot praise you and dance for you. And that's the only need I got. You, that's the day I knew God has a need. That the only need God has is a need to be praised and for somebody to be a child in his presence. Ah. From that day, ata ijaporomoka sana kwa sababu Hatuja zoyana na hawa jamaa kidogo. Zipka pasa John unaweza panga kawana wa kesho. Mkutane na wao tupange ile vitu ya kitambo. Alafu sasa sasa by the time tunamalizia the reason I said I'm reserving the best dance for the last day so that at least tukimalizia Sunday nikikukwaza hakuna meeting Monday. So <laughs> You know so. Anyway God bless you. I love you. Being in such a meeting the second day, cold, but you are here. You are blessed people. Let me tell you something about this church. I made a, a joke in a place I was. I don't want to mention the name because we are online. And then I asked them on Sunday, are you the same people? You know? Because it's this kind of a church where people worship Sunday. You know, there are people who don't worship on Sunday. They worship Sunday. You get the difference? Hawaabudu Jumapili Hawaendi kuabudu Jumapili Wanaiabudu Jumapili Because during the revival Me I'm there just uh, Dressed the same way Then the praise and worship uh, team Some of them are in t-shirts Funny t-shirts Not serious t-shirts You know he, he's laughing because he knows Mungia niona ameva t-shirt Kapisa nangoza worship papa Imeandikuwa ati niongeze tafadhali You know, when church. I've even asked the protocol there when I was greeted. I said, Hey, you guys are looking so smart. What will you put on on Sunday? Because it's like every day is Sunday best. Not only the people serving, every one of you there. You are looking awesome. You are looking awesome. You are looking awesome. Amen. You are looking lovely. And I can, I can tell you, everybody that is watching, I received uh, some calls and texts from some people who were watching live yesterday. I am not only in a church that has a beautiful altar. There are beautiful people here. Amen. Can we welcome everybody that is watching us online? Let's appreciate them. Let's appreciate them. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. God bless you, God bless you. Amen. The love I am feeling here. Can we show love to them? We blow a kiss. Blow a kiss to these people who are here or live or live. Blow a kiss. Ah, no, 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 no. You people are blowing kiss old school. You don't blow these days. No, 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 no. Una kiss, alafu una sambaza. Aya, let's go. One, two, three. Go. Mbiaka, 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 mbiaka.
Ah, amen. Give God some praise and please you may have your seats. God bless you. God bless you. I really want to appreciate God's servant, Reverend Fred and Pastor Grace for having me for the first time in Wonderland. Amen. God bless you. I feel so much honored being here. I know how much your father in the Lord loves you. God has, I, I normally say, I had somebody say that uh, Bishop John, Bishop Dr. John Weston has been blessed by great sons. God has given him great sons. And I say, no, the sons of Bishop Weston have been given a great father. Because when a father is great, the sons and daughters are great. And you are among them. We celebrate you. The Lord God bless you. Amen. Hey, what can we say about Mrs. Bishop Frank? Amen. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. God bless you. God bless you. I'm always happy to see you because we have the skin, same skin color. And um, our, our, our teeth are white and we love smiling. <laughs> so, hey amen. She's, she's, she's wonderful. And you know, Bishop Frank is doing the work of God overseas and without any problem, he knows everything is taken care of. Thank you for being a great, great mother. God bless you. We celebrate you in Jesus' mighty name. And every one of you, Pastor Lucy, Pastor Dennis, and your wife looking awesome. The Dr. Enenche of our days. Amen. God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. And every one of you is here. I really appreciate you. I want to appreciate Mr. Gashero who kept his word to come and be with us today. He had me in Chuka University. Thank you very much, sir, for being here. We celebrate you. He's a deputy dean of student, and we had a wonderful time there uh, bringing some few points home. I want to carry on from where I left uh, yesterday. We are looking at one of the forces that are rare or are not easily mentioned. And I am not saying this to change the preaching of any preacher. I am just saying it so probably by the grace of God, God has allowed me to bring this out and I am saying it also uh, uh, so that it is not supposed actually to become a sermon or a doctrine but I am requesting every man of God that is here and everybody that is watching online make it a prayer point make it a prayer point because there are some tricks you see the ministry and this life of Christianity the way you hear it being called the church of Jesus Christ, Apostle Paul put it as a body. He said, though we have many members, but we are body, it's because in the body, there are some things that have been forgotten. There are some things that have been forgotten. Let me give you an example that I didn't know. You know, uh, 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 the, everybody, apart from using our mouth and our, our noses to breathe, we everybody's body is full of poles you know that are, are they those poles when they open for example when i am preaching i used to preach after i am done preaching and i will sweat a lot by the time i'm done with the meeting i will go see the doctor he will give me some medicine sometimes inject me to unblock my chest because the moment nikki sweat na hiyo baridi ije ina ni block me carrying my jacket there so that immediately I'm done preaching I'll put it on was not a revelation from heaven it was a doctor who told me kwamba Paul's zangu za mtu ufunguka wakati umesweat ni kama vile ukiingia wenye uenda spa uingie sauna ama uingie jacuzzi ikiwa imefunguka ama ukitoka ndani they discourage you from taking cold water they discourage you from showering with cold water why because zimefunguka now those are very small details that looks like they are not important the issue of fatigue, for example. There is a time I preached, I preached, I preached. And then I was, I was like sick. Taken to the hospital. For the first time and the last time I was in a wheelchair. Because I could not walk. Then I was put in a hospital bed. In one of those good hospitals in Akuru. And they started checking out what is my problem. Nikapimwa, nikapimwa. Ulimi It was There was no COVID then. Nikatolewa ukondani nini. Because now they are going to test uh, HIV, whatever. So, HIV-AIDS, it was negative. 
everything was not working they didn't find sickness so after three days i was okay i came out of bed i was okay i walked by myself so they say go we will call you if you find anything they have never called it's eight years they have never called then i was told i was not sick i was fatigued and when you're fatigued it means all soldiers that guard your body white blood cells call them all their names they go on leave they retire because you are not taking care of your body they cannot take care of you so when they retire anything even somebody sneezing when it hits you you are direct to the hospital you have a sickness a disease now that is not sickness it's called fatigue those kind of things we never knew that they were important the message i'm talking about the place of man in every ministry in the life of every minister it is not a doctrine but it is one of the forgotten elements that if we get them and include them into our prayer point then ladies and gentlemen i can guarantee you that there will be great and big speed in every ministry starting with this one actually anytime you hear a ministry change level to shorten the story on how it changed level we just said God visited us mightily. Visited us mightily. Yeah. What's happening? Maybe there is this and I said, God visited us mightily. Now, listen to this. The manifestation of God is carried by men. Very few times God used something else apart from men in the Bible. He used a donkey to speak to the prophet to carry Jesus. The donkey story is over. He used the fish to vomit money. It has never vomited again. Where? It only vomited money and the big one swallowed Jonah. You hear lion. The lion that did not eat Daniel. The story is over. You hear the only story that is consistent is the story of God using men to change lives of men. The story that is consistent, even as I talk to you today, is the story of men that appeared. Listen, the reason why you go to your village and you find maybe the church you used to fellowship has never changed they are still the same it has never grown because the people in that church are still the same one they have never encountered new faces they have never encountered change of people change of people could not change of stories and that's why every pastor that is listening to me I want to encourage you not people sometimes people leaving the church three four five people leaving the church does not mean God has something wrong with you at times for you to take off and then unnecessary people are removed let me explain again it does not mean that those people who have left the ministry are bad people no they're only in a bad church I mean they are they make it bad because they are in a wrong church which is not for them uh, let me give you an example can you imagine a, a, a man of PAG church becoming an elder in this church just picture a PhD person or Jehovah Wanyonyi member becoming or, or can you imagine Wajakoya being an elder in this church yeah. now what I mean is that those people are not bad people but they are not okay being here can I explain something so that you understand again have you ever found people that were married and then they separated and it was very bad very ugly separation and then the lady after some years the man after some years married and the guy that was about thin stressed going through depression all of a sudden he started brightening all of a sudden he had dead weight all of a sudden things were okay they even acquired a piece of land and then the lady also got another man and the lady was okay that man is calling this lady sweetheart the lady that was bitter to the other one the lady is okay but wrong with this man this man is not okay with this one it has worked after they have parted ways i know you cannot say amen to that because we don't believe in divorce but what i'm telling you is real you, you you don't have to take it you don't have to take it but that's the way it works are you getting it how come some of you are in this church this church here world harvest church chuka wonderland you are so much effective and yet you didn't get saved here why were you not effective where you are uku okay uku Lakini, 
kulikuwaje vile ulikuja hapa umeanza kuachilia lugha umeanza kukaa sawa hata ukipigwa picha ukisawa people who used to fellowship with you don't believe it is you there was nothing wrong with that church there was something wrong on you being there because you are not meant for there you are meant for here tafadhali promise me that you will get this message correctly before october this year that's all i'm praying you may not get it now but get it that way there is a place you are put to function some members in some places is like putting the bird of the air under water to function they will they are suffocated there others is like carrying the fish for a tour on the main road it does not work right people that was yesterday's message now has it ever occurred to you or have you ever asked yourself genesis chapter 14 verse 14 the bible says that after lot was captured am i too fast am i okay after lot was captured by buenasema and abraham when he heard lot has been captured let me ask you let me ask you please lower the keyboard a bit let me ask you what if i ask you to define abraham in one word how can you define abraham if i ask you to define abraham in one word how can you define him don't use two words just one word how can you define him hello i'm asking a question i believe if you are right and you normally read the bible you can just call him a father of faith yeah, without saying he's the man who waited for isaac he's the man who did this a father of faith is enough what does it mean a person of faith a person of faith it means this man can operate on his faith without any man and get results without checking any doctor without visiting any physician the wife conceived when a man was 100 the wife was 90 that is faith so my question is what was the man of faith doing arming fighters in his house what was the man of faith doing that he had how many men he armed his 318 men what was he doing training them when everybody is going for prayer when abraham is going to meet with god and other people are taking care of cows he has people that must never go for cows must never go for camel they are in the house doing karate and taekwondo. They will wake up in the morning. Unaskia, hu, ha, hu, hu, hu. Unajuliza yo, hang, hu, hu, ni maombi, si maombi. Kuna watu wanarusha teke. Because Abraham knows when it comes to the dimension of faith, he has faith. But when it will come to the dimension of mundu humundu, he require humundu so that they can deal with mundu. Kama kuna mbalui hapa, amelea kena sema. Wakati vita itakuja ni ya mutu kwa mutu. Hakuna haja ya kutuma roho. Ah uh ah. -uh. Ati roho enda unishikie my nephew amechukuliwa no. Anasema I know a time will come when men will be needed. So they were under salary. They were getting allowance. Getting ready to rescue Abraham and the team when it will become physical. <laughs> Every time usikia kitajwa, unasikia kusemekana oh kulikuwa na Abraham's headmen. People who are taking care of the cows. We didn't know there were people that were doing physical training. 318 men, listen, all of them went with Abraham. So those were 381 and, and 19 people plus Abraham. They went to fight a nation. <laughs> not, not vigilantes. They went to fight a nation. Army in the, of a certain country. They defeated them. They collected things enough for Abraham to pay tithe, and none of them died in war. They killed. They were never killed because they were being trained for the day where human being will be needed. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Not every department of a ministry requires just the spiritual aspect of it. There is a place where human aspects will be needed. Can I surprise you? There are some men that can walk away from a ministry 
and the ministry remains with the Holy Spirit in capital letters and yet they will not be able to achieve some things for years until the Holy Spirit brings other people yeah yeah I think I concluded yesterday by saying for you to hear Apostle Paul not a small boy Apostle Paul the greatest apostle after Jesus to say please Timothy come to me Demas has left me that tells you never joke with men that God has placed in life as I'm declaring on this altar I'm declaring on every altar of a man of God in this nation let the right man appear and may the devil never take away the right son in the house somebody say amen, amen. never take them away because that's the easiest way that Satan uses to weaken the ministry the easiest way the easiest way hey. look at this Jesus has the anointing to pray for five loaves to feed five thousand he has the anointing to multiply two fish but he cannot multiply that which is not available and these things must be in the hands of a man thank God it was in the hands of a boy oh yeah <laughs> prayers have been wasted for there is nothing right to pray for <laughs> nothing right to pray for some anointings have been wasted because the people meant for that anointing are not present can I, this to you? can I say this to you most great men of God that we watch we read their books they did not just appear because they were moving from a step to another majority of them there was an encounter where a right man for the sermon was seated in the service yeah, there's something move. Boom. They are life and that's the reason I, I say this. I agree with uh, some men of God when they wanted to change some laws in the church, and they wanted the men of God to declare their wealth, men of God to you know to have what we call good conduct. And I will never forget the rest, reply of Bishop Mark Karyoki, who said, "Number one, all men of God, majority of men of God." actually over 70 percent are former criminals because that's how the scripture should be fulfilled <laughs> so some of them will get a fingerprint for good conduct it will appear they are former thieves how will apostle paul preach the gospel yet there was evidence that he supported people who killed stephen he will not have preached the gospel number two he said ask civil servant to declare their wealth we are the servants of god we cannot tell you the source. We can be poor for 15 years. Then one man is sent. Turn your life around. How can you explain that to the government that does not walk by faith? Are you listening to what I'm saying to you? So men are needed, but they are needed in different categories. We look at number one types of men that are needed in the ministry. They are forgotten, but they are needed. I call them men of influence. Men of influence. John chapter 4 verse number 5 Men of influence You will allow me because I have several scriptures to give you That when I give you a scripture A common story that we know we will, we will, I will narrate the story So that you can understand Thank God I have somebody good uh, Who is working on these uh, uh, screens here Praise the name of Jesus So the Bible says So he came, that is Jesus To a city of Samaria Which is called Sychar Ah Psyche. By the way, that used to be my tongue before. <laughs> Did I have somebody that you used to share that kind of a tongue? Yeah. What? I don't know how that tongue used to come. Shalaba Saika. You know? Near the plot of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now look at the next verse. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus therefore being weird from his journey sat that's by the well. Do you have NLT? NLT, if you have it, my dear, you can give it to us. He said, Jacob's well was there and Jesus tired. That's what I okay. Tired from the long walk. Sat. Yeah? Now, combine those words. He was what? And then, so I cannot move further from there. Beside the well, about noontime. So he had walked from morning. Look at the next verse. He said, soon a Samaritan woman.
came to draw water. Jesus said to her, please give me what? A drink. Look at the next verse. He was alone, Jesus. Why? He was alone at that time because his disciples had gone into the village to buy some food. Now, <laughs> let me explain something here. The kingdom of God operates with strategies. Some strategies are friendly to some departments. Others are not friendly to some departments. So, at this, this strategy that Jesus was about to use was not friendly if you would have remained with the disciples. Because the kind of a woman Jesus is talking to, she's not a prophetess. She's not a born again. She's not actually a woman who has one husband. The conversation started. Where is your husband? She said, I don't have one. He said, you have said well. Because you have how many? You had how many? And the one you have is not yours. And yet she has never traveled. She had, she had never traveled. It is in the same town. And yet she has married five men and the sixth one still came. Knowing the fifth one was there. And for your information, let me correct this. This woman was not a prostitute. No. That was not prostitution. She was only an exaggerated single mother. Because the definition of a prostitute is somebody who goes to park on the street and wait for any man for pay. But this one was married maybe for a year by one. Then he tells, after staying with this one, and then picks another one then stay with this one and then kick this one out now she was doing so and yet that's what I want you to get and I want especially men to get and yet she still got a man in the same town the population was not too high so every man knew the first husband was Joroge the second husband was Onyango the other one was Kiprono the other one was Wafula na sasa judge last one aliachana na Mukamba sasa kuna mwingine ameingia kwa nyumba Mumeru and yet they are still queuing that means this woman was a woman though she had bad manners but she was a woman who had influence wait let me come so Jesus is sending disciples don't you know this is a trick how can you send 12 men to buy you lunch how many belly do you have how many stomach do you have what he wanted to do was to excuse the Kuribasaida Kuribabolia people because they will judge him and yet Jesus wanted to do one crusade without posters and banners and Jesus knew if I send these disciples, they don't have enough influence to get me the city. <laughs> because the Bible says, after the conversation was over, the woman went to the city and she stood somewhere with her beauty and her influence. And she said to everybody, come and see a man. Not in the list of the men I normally have. This one is different. She has told me everything. Could this be the Messiah? I love it. Are you still following me? Yes. Oh, no, she's not. Whoever is in the screen today, there's a person who was following me as I was going on. When she said that, the Bible says, the woman brought the whole city to Jesus. Is it that you are slow to get it or you, you don't have emotional reaction to spiritual matters? I know some people don't have emotional reaction. Sini kuambia kwa Kiswahili mwanamke huyu mwenye tabia mbaya ako na influence akiingia town akaambia watu Yesu yuko kwenye kizima Bible inasema alikuja came and see a man who told me everything I ever did could he possibly be the Messiah move to the next verse says what the next verse so the people came streaming from the village now, now let me ask you a woman with a bad character how comes she could influence the whole city to follow Jesus 
Now, can I tell you something? The disciples then went to the city. And the Bible says they came with food. Twelve disciples came with bread. One woman brought all men for salvation. <laughs> One woman brought all men for salvation. By the, that time when men are coming, disciples are begging Jesus. Uma kijiko ingine. Si ukule tu. Anasema pana. My food is the will of God. No, no, no. That time Jesus knows I have connected with the right person. The disciples are okay for spiritual matters. I need this one for her influence. You see, one of the things that has happened in the church, and I'm sorry to say so, I know it may not sound right to some people. Please stay in your office. I magnify my own. We have spiritualized everything until some brains that are our influence. We have converted them to be intercessors. Yes. Some people are not supposed to be intercessors. Are supposed to be nominated counselors. Listen. If this church can use their influence with this understanding. With the kind of seats I normally see here. And I'm seeing here. And the kind of population here. We can bargain. Not for a man to do campaign. We can bargain for a person to be nominated by a party if they want our vote for the sake of having an influential person in the parliament what do you call it in the county parliament but now we are expert of sending prayers pastor favor is it pastor favor yes. let me surprise you we have been wasting time to pray for some things that someone like you can answer i'm telling you one person can answer Listen, what I'm saying is that wakovu ni mzuri wa kila mtu. Lakini sasa tunaomba Mungu atusaidie tuokoe specific people. Kuna watu wakiokoka ni watu, kuna mtu akiokoka ni watu wanaokoka. Kuna mtu akiokoka ni mtu ameokoka. Kwa sababu hawezi influence baka kiwete amfuate church. Hawezi influence hata house girl amfuate church. Are you getting what I'm saying to you? There are some people hata wakati mapepo zina manifest hapa ni vizuri si manifest lakini after ku manifest hiyo manifestation haituongezei kitu lakini nakwambia sisi siku moja MP akuje hapa ashikwe na pepo na maombi kama hiyo ndio sali kuomba MP akija hapa MP sitting na suti yake angukiwe na kipepo ya kifafa alafu kamera zote ziangalie akiroll hapa ukingoa hiyo pepo then something has changed in the constituency i'm telling you it is powerful but it is not influential are you understanding by men of influence now listen take your seat let me say this so that you understand i might use some areas to criticize so that you get my point but i'm not saying we cannot cast out devils from some people lakini kenya nasema watu wengine kutoa pepo ni faida yao tu na mimi kujua i am powerful like Sintakuanisha tukiendelea Bible inasema Yesu alitoa Mary Magdalene pepo saba Mary Magdalene akamletea sadaka ya mwaka mzima Na kuna watu wengine tunatoaga pepo na tunawapea fair yeah. Get the difference Tusemi ni mbaya na tuwezi kurudishia pepo yako tumetoa tumetoa Lakini kia inasema ni kwamba the same way tunatoa pepo ya mama mboga Why don't we agree and say Lord you know, there is a church I, went, I, was, I was in their Bible school. They, we went for morning prayer. I, can I tell you before God? That's why I'm telling some people, if you don't understand what I'm saying, don't throw it away. You'll understand later. Maumbiao irinikwaza. I didn't like it. I'm telling you the truth. After you speak in you know they will give prayer points. Prayer points, they say, lift up your hands. Declare, oh God. Tunarudia, oh God. Tukuapo class kama yote. Every man that is rich a man of good reputation an influential man in this area we command them to locate this church then we pray we pray we pray alafu wanaenda prayer point ingine na shindo wameacha wapi pua kwa nini hawakusema pua people kwa nini hawakusema need people unajua ile church nilikuwa tulikuwa tengenezaga poster mkutano wa injili alafu tunaandika pale lete wagonjwa viwete vipofu vilema wataombewa hatukusema lete mwanasiasa lete tajiri Yani, we are like, like, I know that's what Satan wants. 
Satan wants us to not to have influential people. Very true, sir. That's the reason right now, kuna watu an attitude. You cannot even make us, you know, invite politicians because you are saying you have to. Nye, 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 nye. I tell you the truth. That is a plan of the devil, so that by the end of the day, Wakati County, the the governor and Apishwa, ame Apishwa mezungukwa na wa Catholic na watu wa dini zingine lakini hana mkristo so that hata kuweka bana tunaitiswa city sita if we had our own person in the place of influence are you getting what i'm saying to you so please disciples excuse us there is a moment we just want to talk with a samaritan woman because a samaritan woman will bring us a city as you are giving us an offering a woman of influence ay 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 wateni wambie Sijui hapa sana chuka lakini unaweza kuta chuka kuna klabu nyamazisha unajua kuna vilabu na kuna vilabu au mjui vilabu mnajua prayer center sit down i tell you there are, are clubs there are clubs na kuna vilabu zingine zinaendagwa na mabazu unakutaka magari zimepakiwa pale nje zimeoshwa ni mama sides na ma can you imagine holy ghost arresting the owner of that club kama anagana watu from friday weekend mzima elfu moja wakikunywa pombe elfu moja arresting that one woman then we convert the club to be a supermarket but she says she's a member of world harvest church chuka do you know how many people can follow her that why there are alifunga club we hata mimi sitakunywa kutoka leo ndio maana shetani anataka tukae hivyo bila ifle so that we can remain struggling to gather the city the woman samaritan woman not saved <laughs> brother city let me tell you so that you understand one time i'm preaching actually is it the first <laughs> the big fish i like that one i like that one <laughs> i am preaching outside the country and then there is a man of god this one we talked is in open we were serving in yahururu a great man even today a great man but between us growing up looking funny in our time of being youths the fashion this time i see them sagging ours we used to raise up to here we used to operate with fifth law the easier way to collect the wallet is from behind yeah suspenders ilikuwa zile za watoto atukua iweka mkono kwa mfuko tukasikia mapaja tulikuwa naweka mkono kwa mfuko unasikia mokonyo juu mfuko ilikuwa hapa Tulikuwa natembea kwa hivi. Iko hapa. Those days. And then trousers ni kubwa. Hapa chini 27. And then nywele ilikuwa inakangwa. Inachamushwa mpaka unawekwa kwa ile kitu ya wamama. Yeah, that was the then fashion. Eh? Alafu watu wengine wenye walipenda bling bling kama mimi tulikuwa nazo before even we got married. Sasa ukichomoka hivi tao na kiatu imeshine na kiatu ilikuwa ka big shoe na kutembea iko. Lakini tuko mazee tuko na Holy Ghost. Au guy Tumejazwa ni kulombo tolo tu hapa hivi <laughs> Tuko bado na power I tell you tulikuwa kwa estet we were mobilizing thank God some people are preachers kina bishop madu today kina pastor john gedai you know we used to gather somewhere we will pray sometimes tunasahau kwenda nyumbani tunalala tukiomba watu kama kumi na kitu kwa nyumba single room ya dada moja power inashuka then there was a woman that was so close several of them to a pastor that kept on prophesying that we are fornicating we are fornicating we are not saved we are not holy i was the youth secretary they wrote a letter a letter was written i have been removed as a youth secretary with allegation that we are not founded several of us that used to pray today we are pushing the gospel in every corner when we met with our then pastor he told me he bought me lunch in US and he said to me I wish I had you people until today he said what blessed it would have been you calling me your spiritual father i had an opportunity to become your spiritual father but i did not why because he met us influential people and yet he kept the disciples there are some meetings how we don't mix there are some meetings we don't mix we respect powerful people and people of prayer i wish i would conclude with them on sunday but there is a meeting they don't need to attend when we are talking with influential people because influential people don't have a lot of tongues they have a lot of brain influential people are strategic yeah 
And actually, let me say this. Most successful ministry, when they hear God, they gather with prayerful people to pray what God has said. Yet they call for another meeting with influential people to give them strategy. How do we maneuver about this? I tell you. You know, I came to discover <laughs> not every road is tarmac because it's a governmental plan. There are some roads are tarmac because of who is using them. I tell you. Have you, have you, not, have you not seen sometimes a government official, senior government official, maybe governor, minister, when their mother or father die, Kifaru Nakuja in Alima Barabara, because there is somebody of influence that is coming to pass, you clear the road. Well, where she's up on Baba Angozako? Took on a potholes. Then they check who uses that road. <laughs> they say it's Komokomo people. Say Komokomo people carry on your things. So. But when an influential person buys land there, immediately there is a road today in Akuru that we can use. Ilikuwa imetengeza watu kujua wenye wajua kikope. Unaingilia kikope unatokea na kuru nyuma. It imetusaidia mbaka na traffic. Haina lami. Lakini hiyo barabara wakati kulisemekana safari rally zinakuja kukimbilia na kuru. Ilichimbwa, miti kaondolewa, ikatengenezwa. It depends on who is hosting. It was the governor hosting the safari rally. He does not want the world to see kuna barabara inakaa hivi hivi ikanyoroshwa. Ma, maombi ngine haijibi wagui na ndimi ni mutumumu iyo picture mkishika hii picture nitaenda kwa the next point picture this disciples kumi na wawili wakiwa na sufuria ya chakula ndiyo wametoa kwa city alafu mama anakuja na kila mtu amemfuata wazee wa mama wamemfuata they are coming to meet Jesus one evening service the whole city was saved the whole city was saved <laughs> we are going to do some prayers here dangerous prayers I have come to realize what we should do now is to begin to position if some of us we are late to go to such offices but we can mobilize our own children yeah these are some topics that need to be introduced in the teenage class to let them understand how difficult it is for some letters to be passed that belongs to church and how easy it can be if they can be serious and they study hard and then they are positioned for the interests of the kingdom in those offices when the walls of Jerusalem were destroyed, Nehemiah built them easily because he was next to the king. The king gave him a letter. He said, where are you sad? He said, I'm sad because the walls is down in my village and I cannot be able to build them. What do you need from me? Can you imagine? That's the question. What do you need from me? He said he wants trees. He was given a letter to cut down trees from the government. In every country, including ours with a new constitution, they always leave a place for the power of the president. They call it the executive order. There is another president can give that you don't challenge in the parliament and you don't go to court. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. President can decide, for example, Rev by the way, you can preach kwa chatingine. Huyo man of God, ni rafiki ya governor mwenye ringia. Hata wakati governor alisikia, there is a man of honor anakuja. Akamulimia barabara. It is in uh, Ukambani. Alafu ananiambia ati governor alimwambia ampatie ministry ya land. Pastor akasema nitakuwa sitawez I can't do both. I can't do ministry and become a minister. So I let down. Ni vile tu ni mzee kuliko. Nilikuwa nataka kumwambia niambia idiot. Listen, you know why? Listen, you know why? Because you don't have to take the job. But why not recommend your son? You see, it's the mind of the devil in a to tie. Why don't you say thank you very much for the offer? But ma'am, for me to serve you well as your governor spiritually, I need to stay in my office. But I have a church elder, a man of good report, that I know I can pick and take to that position. Are you listening to what I'm saying to you? I saw in a dream a certain governor winning in this mountain. I was not praying for, but I have one of my daughters who was contesting, still contesting in a particular seat. And I told, I say, I see a new governor coming in. Not Taraka. No, 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 no. It's a certain place. In my vision. And I saw the governor being a woman. And I say, I saw you working there in the ministry of sports and youth. He say, oh, I'm pursuing this. I say, I've seen it. I will be so disappointed if she does not get to that place. And yet, she's needed by the kingdom. Not to benefit me, because that is not my county. 
but because <laughs> unajua kwa nini tunapigagwa wakati wa politics kwamba church tusiongee mambo ya politics na siongei najua mna niangalia nika nataka kuongea sina haja kuongea kwa sababu i'm not a prophet of that but i can tell you something i've realized they do not want us in the place of influence so that we don't hear when the antichrist is coming yeah yani sikia they want us to be in every place mazishi kija tafadhali everything is awachungaji waka they want us in every place. but when it comes to their secretive corner eh kabisa don't say anything na akija oh asipatiwe hii asifanywe hii asifanywe hii asifanywe hii so that they don't peep around and get one of our daughters and they make them to go to a certain position can you imagine these people who are carrying bible for us what is the problem with them carrying the diary of the governor and every place the governor is going they are there they are the one who will fix honor conference to the governor he say oh god there is a man of god coming this date you are needed to be there and the whole government is needed to be there and the governor has no choice because he follows a program they will be here either they like the message or not because they have a man of influence that is with them tuliatia manyangao tukaatia walevi tukaatia wale watu wengine listen to me can I, can I say this i'm going to, to to mess up with some of your brains sometimes influential people don't need to be spiritual people yeah so when you don't see them in the night prayers they are doing what you cannot do because you are in prayers we cannot all of us pray sometimes we pray we let others answer prayers yeah i tell you i tell you i tell you <laughs> now, now let me give you a scripture here <laughs> I give the scripture. Have you, has it ever occurred to you? Ushai juliza kuna vitu vili ni soma kwa Biblia zinaishangaza. There was a man called Batmaias. You know Batmaias? He was a beggar and he was blind all his life. So the only thing he had was begging money. Then he shouted to Jesus. Jesus said, "What do you want?" Akasemaje? I want to see. Yesu akamwambia, "By your faith you are healed." alipofungua macho the first thing aliona ni Yesu. Akasema Jesus, akienda Yesu akienda na mwanza naye akamuona anakuja na anaendelea kupiga makelele. Anamuuliza ni nini? Akasema I want to follow you. Jesus said, ah, don't follow me. Just go to your people, share testimony. Why would you not need but Myers to follow you? Because but Myers is excess baggage at that time. It is an extra budget to the ministry. Huh? Jesus is taking care of the salary of 12 man. Then you, you just open your eyes. Please go sort your life. He's a man whose faith, remember the Bible says, you are faith. That means he was a man of faith. Your faith has made you whole. But he told the man of faith, don't follow me. And yet one day he was walking. He saw a sinner on the tree. He's not a man of faith. A sinner called Zacchaeus. But a man of influence. He said to him, Zacchaeus, I'm meeting in your house today. I choose men that I need to hang around with. So Zacchaeus, wakasema is a sinner. Shut your mouth. I know how this game is played. By the time they are talking with Zacchaeus, the Bible says Zacchaeo aliingia kwa treasury yake. <laughs> kwa safe. Akasema mtu yote nimeibia pesa. Ninamlipa. So wakaza kuitana. We, Zacchaeus si alikuwa na 10 yako ekuja. Zacchaeus si alikuwa na 5 yako ekuja. Wakagada kwa Zacchaeus kulipwa. Then Jesus got an opportunity. What opportunity could but Myers brought? Sio kwa sikia, si ati Yesu apendi but Myers. Lakini but Myers haongezi mafuta, ni munyonyi mafuta. Yule mwanamke mwenye alipona after 12 years ya kupata damu, Yesu aku include kwa list ya watu kumfuata kwa sababu kuna watu ambao tunaponya na mnakaa hapo and then ye shagi mukaseme miujiza inafanyika hapa lakini kuna mtu mwingine restoration yake ni ya watu by the way huyo jamaa alifofanya hiyo mambo yote Yesu alimwambia salvation has come to your house <laughs> hello One of the things that 
troubles me when I'm preaching is to preach a message that is still burning. Wakati message itakuja poa, maybe you understand vizuri. Lakini kwa sasa hizi tu burn na wewe. Wewe shika tu point iku burn tu endele. Kwa sababu kwa nini kai kwa nini hatukuombeaga hiyo? Do you know the men of God in one of the cities I will not mention the governor started demolishing making road akabomoa church kama tatu. Kumbe watu wenye wamezunguka governor ni watu wenye wapendagi hata church. Sikia? This men of God are prayer warrior. Walienda usiku wa manane kwa geti ya ofisi ya governor na chupa ya mafuta. Kaya para. Wakasema you have demolished three churches. We demolish your kingdom. We remove you from the seat. I tell you one month, the guy was impeached. Sasa, makosa ndiyo hii. They removed him. They didn't put their own. So another pharaoh that knew no Joseph came. So more pain came. So I'm asking the church, how many people are we going to remove? Like we don't have our own. You are telling me we are surrounded with idiots. You are telling me you are born again Christian don't think. You are telling me you don't have graduates. That why are we converting every graduate to be a prayer warrior? Why can they not be academic warriors? Who said warriors are only people who are praying? I will not tell you who, but I took dinner one time with someone of influence. And I tell you something. Some of us, we know why we are praying and what we are praying for for this country. Because we sense danger. I tell you. We sense danger. You, you don't understand. Some people just look at it this way. There is some some people, if they don't, win next week. <laughs> if you have never had, you know, you know political exile. You begin to hear exile of men of God. Do, do, there is a pastor. He might be watching. He's called Apostle Saka Saka. He used to have a church, vibrant church. In uh, yeah, Apostle Saka Saka, powerful teacher. Saka Saka. You add Kulibasaida is a tongue. Saka Saka. Can I surprise you? That man had a vibrating church in Rwanda. He can explain to you when men of influence that don't like the church stay close to power. You know the man? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I told my wife, I was laughing. I, I told my wife, <laughs> if things don't go the way we are thinking, and you know I'm leaving on 11th October to go to America, pray, oh, because I might go one way. You can put on whole preaching. I said, I can't. No, we get the other. Oh, we get the other. And you see, we are binding devils and doing everything. The question is, what happened to men of influence that love the church? How far did they go to? Do, do, you, know, do, you, do you know a man by the name Joseph in the Bible? He had dreams. Is that true? He had dreams. How many dreams? Two. But rather than fulfilling his dream, he found himself where? In prison. For him to come out of prison, Two men had a dream. Two men had a dream. One of them was a cup bearer. Cup bearer means he's the one who tastes a drink before he gives a king. The other one was a chief baker. The cup bearer came. Joseph was like, who did you tell me you are? Is he a cup bearer? What do you mean? I mean before I was arrested last six months ago, I was the one handing over the cup to Pharaoh. He said, what, what do you want? He said, I have a dream. Okay, bring it. Blah, 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 blah. After three days, they say, now listen, after three days, you will go back to Pharaoh. Please mention my name. Remember me when you go back to the place of influence. Because the man who has put me here wrongly has an influence in some level. But of course, not more influence than the king. Then the other one had. He came. What do you do? I do this. I say, three days you are dead. You are, you are not, uh, you are not uh, helping me in anything. No. You just say you are chief baker. I say, I saw, hey, the bad you saw are saying you don't need to suffer for three years in this prison. Dio, your influence is not helping us, so please die. But for you, remember me when you go to a place of power. It is that man two years down the line that remembered Joseph and restored his life. If there is anybody that was promoted by the prayer of this man to the place of influence and they have forgotten their work, I give them three months of mercy. 
they must remember the assignment otherwise they will tamak they will tamak again because that is the way God works that is the way God works when God wants a conspiracy to be known he positioned men of influence in some places yeah, 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 yeah. so he, he made sure before Joseph is arrested a man who is holding the cup for Pharaoh has committed error he is arrested before Joseph otherwise Joseph will not come out listen to me uh, church to watch a man by a twin you get twin? To match my boyanini? Ya twin. Not everybody is here to get the anointing of Reverend Fred. If we convert all of you to become Reverend Fred, we are finished. We are finished. Did you hear anywhere where Luke, the disciple Luke, performed a miracle? No. No. He was a doctor, but he's the one who wrote the book of Acts and wrote the book of Luke. He was not even a Jew, he was an un Jew. Jesus needed him not to walk on water. Peter, you can walk on water. Mm -hmm. I need you for miracles. Uh -huh. This one, I need you for documentation. Ooh, and your influence as a doctor, everybody wants to read what you have said. So we can trust you with the acts of the apostles. That's why he started by saying, O oh, former traitors that I wrote to you, O oh, Theophilus, of what both Jesus began both to do and teach. Acts chapter 1 verse 1. Then from there, he's introducing Jesus then he's introducing the 12th then he brings the latest disciple to appear that is Paul everybody can trust what the doctor has written and that's the reason why Jesus knew I will stay with Peter and John and landed people to work miracles Acts chapter 3 they make a cripple walk but later when I'm in heaven I will arrest Paul a man who has gone to the school of Gamaliel a man of influence when he took the man of influence, he was challenging judges and lawyers until one lawyer said, hey, one judge said, hey, stop this thing, you'll convert me to become a Christian. And I don't want. He was a man of influence. I am calling professors back to church. And I am commanding new professors to begin arising. Because they can help us. I release the grace of lawyers. They are speaking in tongues here, but they are lawyers. They are speaking tongues here, but they are doctors and they are professors. Are you listening to what I am saying to you? If you are the one who gives Pharaoh a cup of a drink, please, three days you are you have gone. And I can be really as long as that man forgot Joseph. Joseph suffered because God did not have another influential person in that place. So he waited until the man remembers Joseph. That's when Joseph came out of prison. What any I came to get married. No, you didn't come to church just to marry and get married. Some of you have no business to think marriage. You need to go back to Nairobi University or Chuka University here. You need to go back and enroll something. And then we will pray for you not to become the next evangelist, to get a seat. Listen, these owners ya vilabu hapa, na watu waba, na watu wa, 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 wa wine and spirit. Do you know they have a union? Majority of them, they check who is likely to win as a governor. They donate money to them. So that when they go to power, they don't forget them. So when the church is giving card is a harambe, some people donated power for that man to get to power. You'll be here as a church, then there will be a bar there. You can't do nothing about it. Even the chief is drinking from there. Rather than throw oil and declare bar close, let one of yes. let one of us be in a place of power yes. and call him. He said, Who is he? Is your father, Reverend Fred. We can no longer do cashers today because of one stupid bar here. He said, Which one, sir? We'll not only close it, we'll demolish it. Kerori into it demolish. And then they can write what they are saying. This world is ruled. Babylonian system is promote your own to power to defend you. Yeah. Promote your own. Let us have our own here. A young man here. We pray for you. A man of influence. Our own. Listen. You are getting your own things here. You say Esther, you remind me. Do you know a man in the Bible called Obadiah? Obadiah. Do you know who was Obadiah? He was the manager of the house of the palace of Ahab. 
But the Bible says he feared God. So when the wife of Ahab was Jezebel was killing prophets, he took 100 prophets, put one in cave 50, then in another cave 50, and for three and a half years he was feeding them. He could not feed them with his money. He was using his influence of connection to get government food for the men of God. Jezebel is looking for them, but his own worker. Ha! Listen, he's feeding them. Look, maintain the word feeding them. Feeding them. That's why God arranged for the daughter of Pharaoh to shower when Moses is in the river. It was not Mamamboga time to take bath. It was not the time of a no, the daughter of the persecutor of men. So Moses, God has entrusted his people in the hands of wicked, influential people to secure destiny. Wicked, influential people to secure destiny. Are you listening to this? Now I'm asking, let it be so easy for God to use because we will have one of our own. Let me read a scripture here that will bless you. Let me read, let me read so that you get here. You get here. Now look at the book of Acts, chapter 12, chapter 23, verse number 12. You follow me as I explain. I had even the book of Esther, chapter 4 here. But now, 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 <laughs> now look at this. I finish with this one, you will understand why. The Bible says, and when it was a day, some of the Jews, some of who? The reason he's saying some of the Jews, not some of the people. Because when a Jew makes a vow, a Jew, for example, if a Jew is involved in an accident and is about to die and you want to donate blood and the only blood that is available is for a Philistine, he would rather die than walk with the blood of an Philistine in them. They don't mix up. They are so tough that they don't. A Jew. The Jew, look at it. And when it was day, some of the Jews banded together and bound themselves under an oath saying that they would neither eat nor until what? Until they? Now understand this. They were not killing Paul alone. They were killing the book of Galatians. Yeah? They were killing what? Who are leaders in this church? Elders. You have elders here? Administrative people? Associate pastors? It's not the message I'm preaching. I've just posted my message to explain something. If you associate pastors, you are a leader. Leader of women. Leader of men. Leader of department. You lead, you are the head leader of Asha protocol. Eh? I, and Mama, Pastor Grace. I want you to listen to me. One, listen to me as the brother of the father of this ministry. And number two, listen to me as an apostle of honor. Give your father rest. That's not part of the message. Did you hear me? Yeah. Organize how this man will go and rest. No spiritual rest. Rest of the body. And he's not talking. Because we tire by talking. Did you hear that? Yeah. He was not called by God for you people to kill him. With all these meetings. After this meeting, you should organize, arrange, let him go and rest. Even if it's just for five days. But if possible, let him rest in a way he will watch service online. And not because he's preaching for someone in Mombasa. Because he's resting. So that you can have him longer. Did you hear that? Yeah, organize. Now, back to the message. Now, look at this. What does it say? The next verse. Verse number 13 says what? Now they were more than 40. How many people? How many? 40 people decided not to eat. The conspiracy was for 40 people. They decided not to eat. We are in NLT. If you could just use because of a simple English there. They decided they would not eat. Not two people. 40 people. They were more than 40 of them in the conspiracy. Look at the next verse. Says what? They went to the leading and the toppest leadership. You can say they went to the governor and his cabinet because it was a matter of the whatever. They said what? Told them, we have <laughs> we have bound 
bound ourselves with an oath to eat nothing and we are not two we are 40 and you know as we are Jews when we say we are not eating we will die we will not drink water until Paul is dead so this is a story I want you to do look at the next verse they say so you and the high council should ask the commander to bring Paul back to the council again pretend you want to examine his case more fully we will kill him on the way they wanted to ambush the apostle Paul look at the next verse he says what but Paul's nephew his sister's son were they talking in the market were they talking in the market hey come here come here come here you come here what do you do come come now just come with your jacket what do you do where kneel down where took a MTC so that you can do what lift up your hands I, I, I am speaking to you prophetically for the sake of the church are you hearing me for the sake of the church don't joke with what you are studying and listen you are not studying for yourself you are studying for the body of Christ in the next five years you are the people who will be ministers of health organizing matters of the hospitals and medicine for the church you hear me receive it in the name of jesus listen the meeting was not taking place in the coromoni market it was not taking place somewhere beside the road it was among the 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 priests and the elders council but inside the workers of that place god knew that if these people succeed to kill paul we will never have the book of timothy we will never have the book of Galatians. We will never have the book of Ephesians. So he, he planned on the way since the apostle Paul. The son will not just become an apostle like the uncle. He will become an influential person. And sit where decisions are made. He is the one who heard how they are planning about his uncle. He is the one who heard that the uncle is in danger. Elabo Shakaya Baganda. I declare in the name of Jesus young men who has an interest of ministry and ministers they are about to rise to the position of influence for the sake of the ministry for the sake of the ministers in the name of Jesus can I hear an amen so I declare they will be the best even the Islamic counties in Kenya there will be smart boys Christians that knows the issues of IT that knows about to apply things and they are skillful they will be employed in their places some of them will begin to dress like them some of them will begin even to talk like them but they are the hidden agenda for the church so that anytime they make a decision against the church of Jesus Christ the son of sister to apostle Paul will appear and carry the information somebody say amen take your seats I'm finishing go to the next verse the next verse what does he say the next verse the next verse the next verse says what so the officer did explain no 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 no. go back where were we when the boy I want the boy talking but okay go back go back 16 go back 16 but Paul's nephew his sister son heard of their plan and went to the fortress that is what you call Romande and told Paul move the next verse Paul did not say Satan I bind you Satan Paul knew he's one man against 40 who are fasting 40 who are fasting to kill him Paul called for one of the Roman officers and said take this young man to the commander he has something important to tell him <laughs> continue he says so the officer did explain uh, explaining Paul the prisoner called me over and asked me to bring this young man to you because he has something to tell you the boy did not tell me I was told to bring the boy to tell you because some information are confidential they are to rescue destinies
Do you know a man of God called John Hegie? John Hegie, eh? The man who preaches, you know, against gayism in America like nobody's business. There is a time he was preaching and some activist decided to, to interrupt his service. It's on YouTube, you can see. So he will say one point, somebody will start there and shout, No! Then the security in the church will go and get the man outside. Now what they did not know is that all security department of John Hegie are police officers and some former police officers. Can I surprise you? All of them were going outside. When I work with Pingu. By the time they are going to court, it was not the church that was suing them. It was police officer who saw them live life, disturbing the place of worship. They tried to do like they were harassed. The police officer said, no, we didn't harass you. All men that were wearing, were wearing black suits in the service, on Monday they were in court with police uniform. That one saved the ministry. Because they would have said, church boys were beating us. It was not church boys. They were police officers doing the work of police. Do you know it's only in Kenya where you find a police officer does not want to do security in church. A police officer wants to be in charge of leading prayers and nobody should know they are police officers. It is only in church where you find teachers outside there don't want to join Sunday school department. They want to be in kitchen cooking special food for the man of God. Una koroga kuku, kuna mtoto elewi masomo ya Bible, uko hapa na masomo yote, una koroga manyoya ya kuku. Then we give Sunday school department people who did not even reach class 4, but because they are spiritual. They are combining Paul, Timothy, Daniel, and Bartimaeus, then they conclude with the revelation of Goliath to our children. By the time they are coming home, they are more confused than they went. And you are there. You don't want to do your assignment. The boy went and gave the message. Look at what happened. At the end of it, it's a long passage. At the end of it, I want to. Then commanded, commander took hand. Now move to the next verse. So that we get to where we are going. Paul's nephew told him, some Jews are going to ask you to bring Paul before the high council tomorrow. Pretending they want to get some more information. Continue. Faster, faster. But don't do it. They are more than 40 men hiding along the way. Ready to ambush him. They have vowed not to eat or drink anything until they have killed him. They are ready now, just waiting for your concert. Look at the next verse. It says, don't let anyone know you told me this. The commander warned the young man. What did the commander do? The next verse. Then the commander called two of his officers and ordered, get what? Yeah, you say you are 40. <laughs> you are 40. Now, you 40 with your fasting. I will show you fire. I will show you how I will deal with you. He said, now get 200 soldiers ready to leave. Yeah? Ready to leave to where? To Caesarea at what? Tonight, also on top of 200 spearmen and 30 mountain troopers. Did you uh, move on? Are you getting that one? Provide horses for Paul to ride. Paul that they were waiting him on foot. Now he has a special horse to ride. And get him safely to governor. To governor. Governor Felix is waiting for a prisoner. But it is not a prisoner that is coming in. There is a man with 270 people. He's riding in a horse. He's coming to meet Governor Felix. That is not because of the power of the Holy Ghost. It is because he had somebody, a nephew, that was in the place of power. I prophesy as the government is getting to power, as they are swearing in some new MPs, as taking over of office, the new MCAs, I begin to release some of you into the position of leadership in the Rakanidi County. I prophesy some of you are getting direct letters. Your company is getting a tender. You are getting closer to power. Not for your sake. Not for your sake. For the sake of the ministry. For the sake of the next crusade. We need some stadiums. We need to block some roads. And do worship street worship at night. We need it. We need to get 
to some places if the world can do it we can do it all we need is our sons and daughters to begin rising in power Esther if you don't solve this problem help will come from another corner let another help rise open your mouth and prophesy what mama was say prophesy to your children out of drugs out of banky out of cigarettes let them begin to arrange themselves for the sake of the church for the sake of the gospel for the sake of the ministry for the sake of the ministry for the sake of paul and not paul as a man see first and second corinthians see the book of philemon see the book of galatians see the book of ephesians see all those books they were to die in one night they were to be killed by 40 jews who made the vow to see paul is dead but thank god thank god there was a sister or oh, the brother i mean the son of paul sister the nephew with an agenda the nephew with an assignment the nephew with an assignment the nephew with an agenda i declare on this exalted altar by the grace of god let there be change of positions let there be change of levels let men of influence arise let men of influence arise let men of influence arise arise take power or closer to power take power or closer to power where is Obadiah where is Esther where is the cup bearer where is Nehemiah where are men of influence that are close to power so that they can tell us when the game is being changed so that they can use their influence for the sake of the church to push the agenda of the gospel to the next level let there be men of influence we position our sons to the place of influence by fire by force we declare let the medics go deeper let the lawyers go deeper the sons of the church young men of pentecostal movement young men of world harvest church sons of bishop john western sons of reverend fred sons sons of god in the church of jesus christ begin to shift your position begin to shift your position my son i prophesy to him i prophesy to my daughters let places of influence open up for them we refuse mediocrity we refuse illiteracy i call them out of drugs i call them out of prostitution i call them out i call them out i call them out i call them out i position them in the place of influence in the place of influence holy ghost arrest our sons arrest our daughters some of us we cannot be able to go there our ears have moved our age has advanced our bones are cracking we cannot be able to go there and make decision but we have you our sons we have you our daughters what are you doing on the ground i release you to judiciary every teacher here i decree promotions to the county directors protocols will be broken for you to be there so that when they are closing church away from preachers when they don't want us to go back to the cu they don't want us to go and preach you will be there you will be there with good character with the message of christ with good character and the message of christ in the name of jesus where are the police officers where are the police officers if they are not here they are being transferred transferred from mombasa from yanyuki from nairobi from oyale from marsabit they are coming to chuka they will come to this church their knowledge is needed their wisdom is needed we need men where is a samaritan woman where is a samaritan woman where is
is a Samaritan woman? Where is a Samaritan woman? Where is a Samaritan woman? Yakola Kazika ya Tegede Bosia Karepasiki ya Tebaka Zirala Lepa Rekazaya Makanda Korike Limakaya Bosia Lechine Mayanda Kresiki ya Tarila Kayabos Amaranda Badekada Rakazeri Lazaya Repa Shekle Nimaya Reka Sekia Debaka I declare I declare I declare our daughters our sons are rising come on send them send them to the office of the speaker if you are not the speakers themselves send them to the office of the mca if they are not mcs themselves send them to the office of the member of parliament if you are not members of parliament themselves they are going to the women rep they are going to the senatorial office Shalapo Kandalos Zekale Bagadesi Ala Reploni Gedi Baganda Lekosisi Ale Bashakaya Letoria Le Plenusia Le Casoclodis Ecleriba Rekaida Baga de Begedos Payato Kadika The Church of Kenya cannot be undermined The Church of Kenya cannot be undermined Cannot be undermined cannot be undermined it cannot be undermined the church of kenya cannot be undermined the church of kenya cannot be undermined our sons are getting to the state house they are sitting next to the president they are sitting next to the vice president our sons are in the office of decision making are in the office of decision making we cannot be oppressed by our competitors hey! Amen. Listen, listen. I want us to do something I call the point of contact. The point of what? Where we'll have a representative of a particular area. One person, if there are more than one. You don't have to come all of you. Okay? So, so let's, let me get some, peop some people who represent the young professionals. You, I mean, the professionals. You, you understand that? What, what do you do? Good. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Let me have, let me have, let me have somebody from teaching. You know, some people from, uh, uh, or oh, let me call them with ministry, ministry of health, others ministry of land, others you are a business person. You are coming, you know, a point of contact. Somebody in judiciary, you know, somebody in judiciary can be a lawyer. I'm going to show something here. I'm going to show something here. I'm going to show something here. And I tell you, I preached this message at that, that, that time I'm preaching it, but I have never done what I feel doing right now. We stand here for the sake of this house and also for the sake of the church of Jesus in Kenya. Are you listening to me? <laughs> Did you see when the Jupiter president was taking his papers, he went with two people. One was a motorbike person and the other one was what? Mama Mboka. What was he trying to show us? <clears throat> or what was the mission? We identify with those people. Because before, they never identified with them. They went with the lawyers. Now, we church, we have identified with all those people for many years. It is a high time we identify now ourselves with the different kind of people. Do you know I was shocked that the reason why the church called Lighthouse, is it Lighthouse? Bishop Doug Howard Mills Church, has spread in some areas. Is because he has been sending doctors, not preachers, because some nations preachers cannot enter. It is doctors because they need doctors, like Cuba doctors. The way they came, he will send some doctors to come here, and then that doctor is a doctor pastor. 
then he, when the doctor is there, he will call for his cousin. He says, he's my cousin coming. But he's not a cousin. He's an evangelist. They will begin evangelizing from the house. Then the church is born. There is a reason why you are in that place that you are. Now, you know what I'm praying? I am telling you this because forces of the devil knows. The devil and his forces know that your rising is not your rising alone. Especially some people. I preached this message in Kitale. A lady just banged the pastor's office. Came in. And she dropped her phone. He said, look at it. Addressing the pastor, the apostle host, and me. I've been applying. I'm more qualified. I'm not supposed even to become a head teacher. She's a primary school teacher. I'm supposed to get a higher position. But every time I'm shortlisted for interview, the interview has been postponed four times because they know I'll beat them. Then I took the phone. I said, you are the one we need for that position. And because the word has come, then take it. The pastor was even sorry for some people that have been appointed to be nominated as MCS in the church. Then he would say they are going to the world. He was shocked by this truth. Now let me show you. Now let me call for the pastors. Now, all pastors, even if you are not a pastor of this church, now come here, here on the altar. I see you, pastor. Just stay there, pastor. Okay, pastor Dennis is here. Okay, yeah. Just come up here. Let me tell you what the Bible says concerning these people. He said, we choose among them people of honest report. Is that Acts chapter 6, right? And then he said, but we pastors, so that they don't see you in the county. They don't see you in that ministry of education. And yet we want to plant maybe a school here. We will give ourselves to Kurimazaka, Rekadika, Jekataka. But on Sunday, we know who we are praying for to go and push for what we need for a school here. Are you getting that now? And then, because you, who is not a professional, God has given you a grace of prayer. You are running something small. You will not have jealousy. You will be raising your prayers from behind. Then we are pushing our prayers from here. And I tell you, this church, I'm challenging you. Every election, you must have somebody contesting for something. I tell you, every election. So if we don't have an MCA that you are praying for from here, on, on Sunday we are supposed to be having all offices represented here praying that let our sons get into power are you hearing me enough of us praying for people that we don't know who are manufactured in house of witches but you have no choice but to pray for them they say pray for those who are in leadership is it a taboo no 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 now lift up your hands I want you to get this prophetically some of you are the sons, the nephew of Paul. Others here, you are Esther. Others here, you are the one who holds the cup. You are Nehemiah, holding the cup for the king. Some of you here, you are Obadiah. Some of you here, your influence is greater than the Samaritan woman. Now, you know what we are going to do? The church will begin to pray. The pastors will begin to pray. And you will begin to call for that new position you want. Call for that new position. Change the street of your business. Say the way you want it to be. Change it. Declare it. Declare it. Declare it. Declare it. Declare it. Declare it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Lift up your voice and say it. Lift up your voice and say it. We declare favor for the sake of the church. For the sake of World Harvest Church Chuka. For the sake of that other church. Somebody that is watching online. For the sake of their ministry. We need their daughters to be promoted. Katalia Mazia, Leke Shukiadia. You may not go to politics, but you may be the next minister of health in this county, the next minister of education in the country. We release you. We release you to that position. We release you to that position. We release you to that position. Kaya Bagadash, Kaya Labagades, Le Kataria Lezai, Le Baseria Le Maya. Kaile mekonde jekia tarilasa e bagaya gazekete rekazakla de baza yakabagade bekesia rakazakla de bagades yekaya bagande rilasia we declare we release them 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 from every church of Jesus in Kenya 
we release it from every ministry in Kenya. We release it. We release you. We release you. Go and take charge. Go and take charge. Go and get favor. Hey! Go and get favor. Go and get favor. They will favor you. They will favor your purpose. They will favor your name. They will favor your academic. They will favor your credential. They will favor you. 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 Arakata boshiada. Kayabagade boshi la bosh. In Jesus, mighty name. Somebody say Amen. Jesus' disciples walked with him. He resurrected Lazarus with them. He walked on water. They were looking at him. He fed 5,000. They were looking at him. But the Bible says there was one disciple that was a secret follower. His name was Joseph Arimathias. He did not have a place in miracles. But the moment the body of Jesus was hanging on the cross. And nobody was ready to pick it. Because Peter and the rest were hiding out of fear. There was one disciple. A man of influence. Listen. He went to the king. And he did not tell the king, long live the king. Because that man is not a joke. He just said, hey sir, I want his body. They say, why? I've been in secret his follower. And I've prepared a place to make him rest for three days. Don't think every disciple is the one who is walking on water like Peter. There are some of us who are in offices of influence. Who are moving things in a marketplace. But we are still full of the Holy Ghost. Tashalabagandeya. All graduates, Kayabash, there is no graduate here that will come back another three months. I declare to you, not for your sake, for the sake of the altar of Jesus, get your position. There might be no job for everybody, but not for a man of influence in this position. You are released for that place. Take your position. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. If you're here, you are a mother. Your womb has carried a baby. Even if that baby is one day old. You are here, you are a man. And you have a baby somewhere. But you are a son of the kingdom. You have a baby somewhere. Come here now. If you have a baby, if you have a baby, don't move. But if you don't have, if you, you not, don't have a child, go back. Everybody there that you have a, a son or a daughter, not spiritual, biological, biological, biological. Kaya, are you getting this? You see, you see, you see, hey, 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 you see the way I'm seeing it. Some of you are coming, and others are going. Parents are coming, children are going. You see, you see, the way they, I told you yesterday, the way they mobilize Islamic is because they, they talk to their children to begin doing some things that are important, like media. <laughs> I, I think Pastor, Pastor John remembers, I think he's in Kitali, I say. I say the way I told my son. I, I told him, you know, my son has a very unique English, which is not from me, neither the mother. We know our roots. He has a very special English. And then a certain voice. He just turned 16. And then he's here confused. He wants to become a judge. He wants to become this. Then all of a sudden he came one day. He told Bishop Karaoke in a house. That he wants to be writing. He wants to be not an author. A writer. I asked what's the difference. He said like you dad you are an author. You write books. I want to write scripts. Movie. For people to act. Then after almost six months is when I said. Ah, movie for what? I call him one day on Wednesday. Jeff Koinange was doing JKL with that voice and the accent of my son. I told him, look at that man. You see his head is like your father. The hair is going. By the time you're done with university, this man would have retired. Yes. I want you to take his job. Yes. Take his job. Listen, that time, something is telling me inside. Oh, your father was a reverend. You, you are an apostle. Why not your son becoming a pastor? I told that voice, shut your mouth. What, what a problem him Akisoma's news Wednesday. Nine day I can preach Sunday. Who said it's a crime? But you see, the devil will not want to be there because like hey, picture. Yes, sir. Jeff Koinange is forget even your son. Mm -hmm. 
imagine Jeff Koinange is a member of this church. And then we are starting a conference on Thursday. Then he hosts you on Wednesday. He said, oh my, oh my. There is a man in Chuka who is shaking the nation. He's here. Oh my. Reverend Fred Ja. He's not even saying, my pastor that time, he does not want the world to know. Anachezea kadiake chinyamaji. If nephew ya Apostle Paul Ageji introduced come a nephew, he would not have been allowed in that meeting. He, he pretended he does not know that thief that they are killing. He's even saying, ah, that man. But he was part of it. The conference today, people will be at the gate. Listen, because we lack people in the place of influence, every man here, would you hold your waist? Every woman, hold your womb. I don't care where your children are. We begin to change their destinies. We begin to rearrange them. We begin to realign them. In the name of Jesus. Those who are running away from school, they are going back to school. Haya! Pareka ya baga. Kama kuna mtoto yote kwa hii compound, aletwe hapa. Kama kuna mtoto yote kwa compound, aletwe hapa. Aletwe hapa kwa madhabahu. Tumekataa shetani ku waste maisha watoto wa Kristo. Hadi sasa ndio wana market bangi. Ndio wana market bangi na wanataka ipandwe. Hakuna Muislamu nimeona akisema bangi ipandwe. Naona watoto wanaoitwa Job, watoto wanaoitwa Peter, watoto wanaoitwa Moses, watoto wanaoitwa Matthew. Ndio wako kwa hiyo program ya kupandisha hizo vitu katika jina la Yesu tunatangaza watoto wetu watoto wetu hata kama wamezeka namna gani hata kama walikatalia shule destiny zao tunazitisha 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 hey i prophesy they are children of influence they are children of influence i declare in the name of jesus the power arrest her destiny arrest her destiny arrest her destiny she's an influential girl she's rising in a position the position of greatness in the name of jesus we declare ya katala baganda rakaze kayada hakuna kukata masomo hakuna kukata shule hakuna kuwa kichwa ngumu we will arrest you we arrest you your destiny is secured hey zaka ya bagada bagada ragada bagada destiny ya moses junior destiny ya marvelous wairimo destiny ya majesty wairimo destiny ya mafalda wanjiko i command your destinies your destinies are rested now you are women of influence you are a man of influence ya paragayada declare declare i give you 30 more seconds even those of you who are not yet married hey you will get married one day and you are not barren why don't you prophesy why don't you declare why don't you prophesy why don't you declare 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 kaya paragada ea bariando zide do saha barekle dige di zeke ya daba reka zeke ya daba ka zeke tis zekula galege zeke ya daba raka zaka ya daba ka zai zeke ya tarela zeke ya daba reka zeke ya daba ka zai ma zeke ya daba ka relasi leke zeke ya di bagados kaya baga zeke ya daba ganda in jesus mighty name somebody shout amen lift up your right hand say in the name of jesus my children are not jokers my children are entering in a position of influence whatever i did not become my children will go beyond me will go beyond me will go beyond me in the name of jesus say i connect my children with the altar they will serve the true god they will succeed ali they are influential men inside the country and outside the country in jesus name say amen we need now to begin becoming strategic people 
there is a friend of mine I will tell you the name you know he got the wife and then they planned they left the country they went to the US then they got two girls two girls immediately they were done they flew back to Kenya so the, the daughters flew back to Kenya with American passport the American citizen but they came to learn the tradition of Africa God that we pray the way we work so last year the firstborn daughter finished from four she went back to the embassy and told them to renew the passport she's going back home as I speak right now in the next one hour she's boarding the plane back to where she was born now for university those are the people who are coming back now to lead because she knows Kenya very well when she come back people like Susan Kiheka in Akuru, who is about to become a governor yes sir yes sir those are the people who were taken by their parents there mm. to study it was a strategic plan so the father is dead but the daughter is ruling that man the father of Susan was an MP in Molo Bahati he was moving around the whole county where he moved now is the daughter that is taking over with the knowledge of outside then brought inside that is what God was doing he wanted Moses to get the knowledge of Egypt he wanted Daniel to get the knowledge of another place so they can go in and rescue some places so I, I, I am speaking now declaring any child that needs to study abroad the doors are open not for the sake of that country not every Kenyan must become Obama there some of them will study there and come change here in the name of Jesus our children are like arrows so we position those arrows in the place of influence somebody say amen na ningetaka mkombolewe kwa kasumba ya kushikanisha leadership ya inchi na mashetani mumesikia hivyo tafadhali mtu akiapointua kwa position influence ya serikali don't look at it in the name even if there are demons there why don't you go there and take your god there you are the light to the world sit in that position for the sake of the ministry you are blessed we are not just calling for men of influence to come here we are even sending you to the place of influence and then you come back here in the mighty name of jesus somebody say amen i went to preach honor in a certain church and then they received me in a hotel with that with that with a Mercedes Benz kuyangalia naona GK is it am I there are they, are they carrying me to preach or arresting me so, no, that's a private car for the judge who is an usher in the church he said you can use it so on the road we are using any side we want which policeman can arrest a judge who judge police <laughs> receive that grace so there are judges here there, there are lawyers here for the sake of the church for the sake of what for the sake of what you see the lawyer of Apostle Kemani Kingdom Seekers and MBCI is a son of Bishop Bogwa of Redeemed the, secret, the secretary general of Redeemed Gospel and then he married the daughter of Apostle Juma the daughter of Apostle Junior now they are there worshipping God but he can still deal with the law of their own church and yet we have churches that pay sinners to represent us when you want to sign what are the lawyers doing what are the lawyers doing listen there are some of you who will anoint you some children and some children to keep to a shule to skim we will not just anoint you we will slap you with oil we will point oil here and slap you out the demon out of you do you know how much you are costing the church for not becoming serious academically you are blessed of God. The grace of God is upon your life. You are men of influence inside and outside this country. In the mighty name of Jesus. Celebrate the Lord as you take your seats. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Now, now, please go pick a seat. Pick an offering right now. An offering for this evening. Do it quickly. Do it quickly. If we need to separate this altar seed with the rest, if, there is, if that's a protocol, please do so. We want to pick a love offering now for this evening somebody has been blessed we pick two more people tomorrow so that we can see this is a series of a book Mr. Gashero that is coming up it is called 23 men every man of God need so I've just mentioned one 23 and we need to try and cover at least five before Sunday praise the name of Jesus amen do you have your offering with the joy of the Lord you have your offering with the love 
with a celebration, with a heart, knowing you are a man of influence, you have your offering. If it is in the envelope, it's okay. If it's not, it's okay. We want to celebrate God together. Give with joy. You're using your phone to give. Just go direct to that uh, pay bill number, which is 522522. Your offering will go to God directly. To God directly. Those even who are giving with the phone, the ushers are not privileged to count it. It will go to the account of Jehovah. Cha! Right away. Every money given to church is for the progress of the kingdom. Can I hear an amen? amen. Do, you know, do you know you people of this church? Do you know how this church is admired? Outside there? There are some people who are calling me some men of God. You are going to that pass? Yeah, those people with a very beautiful altar. You know? You know, every, this thing you see here is for the glory of the kingdom. <laughs> you know? Among these men of influence, I mean the men, men that every man of, God, man of God needs, we'll be talking about the skillful men. That will help the church not to look like this. See Oroho and Yorosha Kilaki. Do you have your offering with you? Now listen, I want to ask you as we bring our offerings today that you please, I use the word please kindly, you pick an envelope that you're going to use to. Two things are involved. Anytime you get an envelope of a meeting, the reason you should not keep it to your house, you return it during the meeting is for two reasons natural and supernatural let me start by natural natural it means you don't let the man of God who has been invited are you listening to me everybody I want you to listen to that listen listen you don't let the meeting that has come remain as a burden in that church every conference must remain as a blessing not only a conference where a man of God has come from Ghana or Nigeria or Morocco or Somalia even if he's from here Chuka and there is a conference he has been invited to come allow that that meeting will not be like a meeting that came to take away part of the church account let the church account do a check or withdraw money to tap the grace but not because the need was met that is a natural way to say that man stays in a hotel I want some of you can take an envelope and ask how much is the room then I will put the size of amount to make sure where Apostle Moses is sleeping and his uh, uh, assistant, the place is taken care of one night for me. Some of you can do two nights. That is a natural way. Handling bills because I am not the guest of Reverend Fred. He was, he was the guest of Reverend Fred. I was supposed to, I'm supposed to be preaching in his sitting room. I am not his guest. I am your guest. Is that okay? Number two, Finances, money is connected with blood. We work, we generate, we sweat, we are paid. Either we are sweat physically or in our mind. Then we bring part. So whatever the man of God carries for that week, I partake it by sowing into the meeting of that week. That's what I'm saying. Avoid the issue of getting the envelope to bring next month. When the Bible says sow in the morning, 